Hey guys, Fast Break Kids here. I'm Wiley, Josh, as always, and we also got Jared on the boards. We are talking about our rising and falling list. Let's go. Let's go. First off, Josh, do we need to make any changes? Let's look at last week's Let's rising and board. falling. We've got the Saints and the Giants and the falling. Saints are staying. Saints, we can are, agree. Saints are still falling. Giants, what do we do with them? Do we take them down? I don't know if they're rising. They're not rising. I don't, I I don't know if they're, they're rising. rising. Should we take them down for now and so then I see where they go? I say we leave them there. I say we leave them there. You know. Winning against Washington doesn't really do the job. No. Sorry, sorry, New York. You're still up there. But rising. I'm loving the rising. Steelers are still looking hot. Corners looking good. Blake. Blake. Hey, man. Blake. Blake. Playing the Patriots. You know what? Blake Let's wait Patriots. till Indianapolis. We'll see how that goes I before agree. we move Blake. Uh, all right, well, let's start first here, Josh. Your rising pick. My rising pick for this week. The Atlanta Falcons. Oh, that's a good pick. It's a good pick. Very surprising undefeated team. We right? Discussed it. it's, right? I mean, they look good. Hey, I mean, hey, we talked about it way before the season started. As If that offense is clicking and if Julio Jones is healthy, that's what I'm saying. man is just an animal. I, like, I, I think he's going to... Not necessarily set records this year, but he'll come close to setting a lot of receiving records. Yeah, I mean, Calvin Johnson-esque stuff going definitely. on there. Like, Matt Ryan's like, yes, thank goodness he's back. He's got Julio Jones. After an, a, just a, an abysmal year last year, they're back, they're undefeated. Dan Quinn, wow, good on that guy. I and mean, he, he's making yeah. the most out of that defense considering they don't have a lot. They don't. They really don't have a lot of playmakers on the defense side of the ball. Well, but here's my thing, too. Can Julio Jones, like, do you think Julio Jones, like, gets, like, I think he's going to get, like, 1,600 yards at least, and probably 12 touchdowns. That's yeah, my prediction. I can see year. that. I can see I that. I think he's going to have just some crazy monster year. Like, I, I mean, he's already just going nuts. He's going to have a Calvin Johnson or a or a Des Bryant esque year. It's going to yeah. go nuts. It's yeah. going to happen. Uh, for my rising, I'm going to the north. Go north, young one. I've got the Minnesota Vikings. These guys, after a very small Vikings, man, let's go. After a very uh, disappointing Week One yeah. game where Bridgewater was running around like a chicken with his head cut off, he was getting Adrian Peterson was getting the ball everywhere. like eight times. He didn't even play the fourth quarter. They are back to their roots. They're giving it to Adrian Peterson. He's pounding it. Nuts. They just beat San Diego. They're two and one, looking good in that division. You know, you said it. Green Bay might not be the clear favorites in that division they are. because of Minnesota. Yeah, they're coming, and Bridgewater looks good. That defense is playing so much better. You got oh Anthony Barr, good player, good young player out of UCLA. They got a good and they stout have defense. Good corners too. They, they have great do. corners. They do. I like where they're going. Should be an interesting matchup against Denver. Definitely coming up. And again, because Denver really doesn't have that great of an offense. I mean, their run game is. Don't don't wait wait wait. Where is it? I, where is it? I I can't find it. I I can't find oh. Denver's run game. Oh wait, that's because it's non-existent. Yeah. So if they can just stop, if they can just stop Manning, which if, we've seen is not impossible to do now. If Peyton was slowing down near the end of the season last year, when is he going to slow down this year if they can't run the ball? Right. And he can't shoulder that offensive load. I haven't, seen, I haven't seen that they can. You know what I mean? So he see. can't do that. He can't throw it 40, 50 times a game. They can't do that to him. No. Gary Kubiak, get it together. CJ Anderson, like, where are you? All right, well, let's move to the falling aspect. Yes, yes, yes. Josh, who you got falling? This is perhaps the saddest moment of my young, my young fanhood. Um, I'm here for you. Great sorrow, and like, not even sadness, but sorrow that I'm uh, placing. Oh yeah, the Baltimore Ravens. This is hard to watch. So as someone who prides himself on being from Baltimore, and believe me, I do. Like, I love it. Like, oh, I yeah. love the Ravens. I love them. They're my team for life. But, man, they are just bad right now. Yeah. They are just poor. But, hey, they got a chance to make up for it this week against Pittsburgh. Against their rival. One Pittsburgh's of the best rivalries limping. in football. So, they don't yeah, have Roethlisberger. That's, so. that, that, that's also great you brought that up, too, because – Despite the fact that Baltimore's not playing well, this is one of the best rivalries in football. Oh, yeah. It's gonna so be you know they're going to show up. Right, it's exactly. not going to be... They're going to play well, or at least as well as they can play with who they have. And just, just keep throwing it to Steve Smith. That man's an animal. Steve Smith, 
This is like last this, season. Last season. His last season. This is his. This is his victory. This is well. I hope. Hopefully, they I hope turn it, it into be a victory, victory lap. Year, yeah. yeah, his victory year. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. so All right. Baltimore just their defense is just bad right now. So hopefully they'll get together. So hopefully this is a short stay on the I'm, falling list. On the falling list. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to go to a place that you know you predicted in with I did. the hot seats. Mr. Kaepernick. Oh, Colin. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Colin. You don't start a game by throwing two picks for six. I, I've never seen Not that. Not only that, two picks for six that looked identical. Yeah. They looked identical. You can't do that at a division like, rival's home did you hear and what, expect to even get out of there with some semblance so did you of, hear a, what, of a victory. Did you hear what, what Tyron Matthews said after the game? Like, no, what did he say? All he said was he said we knew like they run like the simplest routes ever. It'd be easy for us to get a major yeah. break on the ball, and he did. You they saw said, his. They reported that you know San Francisco had, were, was simplifying the playbook yeah. for Kaepernick. Maybe a little too maybe uh, a little too simplified. Uh, a little simple for the defenses to read. Because Ty Matthew literally just oh wait what oh uh, another pick for six. I'll okay, take it, I'll take it out. okay, Justin Bethel. That was his first snap ever on defense. Yeah. Pick six. Kaepernick, dude, you got problems. <laughs> and it wasn't even like the team, because the team's not good in general, but Kaepernick looked terrible. Looked a bit, four interceptions. I think we itself. might be seeing this guy up here for a while. Just my thoughts. My thoughts. Jared. Bring it on home, baby. Get over here. All right. All right. Mike. Right there. Bring it up, Josh. Bring it up, Josh. First off, let's discuss. rising. Let's start with rising. Luke McCown. They lost the game, right. but he looked he good. good. He honestly you know did. He, he, threw a pick. he only threw one pick, and, yeah. I mean, it was just a beautiful pick. <laughs> okay. Oh, it was gorgeous. Okay. Yeah. Only he what? could have thrown <laughs> that pick. amazing yeah. interception. Only he could have thrown that pick. Hey, it man, was those gorgeous. Verizon commercials are working for him. Exactly. All he needed was a shot. Yeah, I was going to put the Verizon marketing department on my following list, but I didn't. Ah, All right. Um, tragic. Tragic. Next up, Ron Artest, aka Meta World Peace, signed with the Lakers. A your deal. He signed with the Lakers, aka Panda's friend, as he's been AKA calling Pan AKA calling AKA himself. Panda Foot, I would call him. Panda Foot, you Did call you see him his that? shoes? No, -uh. there were there were pandas like on his, sh on his yeah, shoes. Oh, he, yeah, he has Panda's friend on the back of his jersey when he oh, when, I didn't see when that. he was recently playing in, in I did Italy. I see that. <clears throat> The I only him on guy, his shoes, though. yeah, the only guy I know who's gotten uh, five fouls calling him in one minute. That's a true story. You can look that up if you want. Uh, that was all in Italy just this last year. So I'm gonna put him on my rising list just because. Gosh, I just, I just love him. I just love him. He brawled half to death in the in he the palace. He doesn't take he crap from no anybody. Crap from no he doesn't one. take it from Kobe. He doesn't take it. Well, James Harden really didn't do anything, but Nothing. but yeah. he deserved it. He deserved it. Um, all right. Love him. Sign of the Lakers. Elbow. If only Ron Artest played football, man. Oh, man. He'd be a bruiser. He would. I can't wait to watch him play this year. I absolutely, he's just, it's, it's inevitable. Something's going to happen. <laughs> I think he gets he minutes. Even, he, he's getting minutes. Let's guy, be real. Guy doesn't even have to play. He needs to just get in fights and stick up for his teammates. That's all I really want to see. Yeah, all right. all right. Fair enough. Next up, Tom Coughlin. I know the Giants are kind of shaky right now. Got him right there. Wait, wait, so he's rising. He's rising. Because I mean, because I mean, goodness, gracious. He's just so fun to watch. Half the time, I'm not even watching the game. I'm just trying to figure out. They need a Coughlin what, cam. What cuss words are coming yeah. out of his mouth during the game? It's like the best part. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. He's just he's old. Yeah. He's probably he losing. Fantastic. He's probably losing it in other, like parts of life, but his football senses are as keen as ever. He's like an old Indian. All right. Next up is Odell Beckham Jr. This one's an easy one. Yes. Rising. He's been rising for a long time. Now, the thing is, at the outset of the season, I was like, eh, you know, I don't know. He's only been in the league for one year. 
You know, he's got that one, the big catch. He's only played 15 games. We're going to hear about the big catch until we die, apparently. Let's be real, though. That was probably one of the best catches I've ever seen. Top I three. Know, I know. That's Top what three. Said too. And so Chris Collins well, everyone. Everybody. What is, what is, uh, never mind. You know what? What does Chris Carter think? They can't even hear what I'm saying. That's what I want to know. That's right. Like we'll Chris put Carter. subtitles. Okay. So, Odell Beckham Jr., rising. It's clear. At the outset of the season, I was I was suspicious. I was like, you know, eh. But he's the real deal. I got him in fantasy, and I'm not upset about it. That's two so I'm gonna, giants. I'm going to pop him right there. That's two giants right there. And, but we currently have the giants on our falling list, too. That's interesting. Eli, what the bleep are you doing? And then he's like, ma, throw me the ball. Just throw me the ball. Only, yeah. Throw me Deion the ball. Sanders said that. All right. Those are my rising picks. I think those are all <laughs> whoever it was. It was uh, 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 Keyshawn. I love Keyshawn. That's why, that's why he's here to correct me so it's not just like complete idiocy. All right. On my falling chart, Jimmy Clausen. I, of course, have a picture of him with a Joe Dirt mullet. I didn't Photoshop that, but uh, somebody did, and it was inev- inevitable. I was going to do it myself if somebody didn't. Well, I'm glad someone else did. Thank so, you. yeah, it's, it's good. It's right there. Uh, but specifically, it's not just Clausen that I want to make fun of and, and say that he's falling this trash talk game is it bad is it weak bro it's bad it's not even like i heard dialogue but you know he don't trash talk yeah seattle seahawks defense you don't do that guy guy, especially not richard sherman guy runs runs up the field slides which is basically like "Eh, don't hit me slides and then gets up and he's all he's like he was like you know, what do you think you can't, I think you know, that's exactly what he said. Gets up like that. It was like, yeah. blah, 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 gets up like that. Ugh. Next play, sack. You know, just a, just a nightmare. What an idiot. Don't trash talk them. Don't do it. Don't trash talk them at all, especially if you slide, bonehead. All right, next up, Odell Beckham's hair falling. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I'm going to go ahead and stick that right on Clausen because he deserves it. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's irresponsible. It's ridiculous, and think, I'm wait, I'm just not going sidebar, for it. Sidebar, sidebar. I think Jimmy Clausen looks way better with Odell's hair. He does look better with it, and that's saying something because this is bad hair we're talking about. He looks way better. It's out of control. Last season it was kind of cool, I'll admit. Now it's just ridiculous. It's like starting to form a weird like, like V thing in the back. It's hideous. Cut it. Do something, please. All right. Um... Now, next up, we have, this is kind of a double. I actually photoshopped this myself. Quantico, the new show on ABC. This is up here on my rising chart. Okay. Oh, it'll be falling. Oh, uh, falling. Excuse me. Ooh, I don't want to make that mistake. No, no, no. Quantico, yeah. Quantico is the place where uh, the nation sends its best and brightest recruits to soon become high-functioning agents in the Federal Bureau of Investigation. It's not a sweaty clothing optional hookup zone like the commercial suggests okay this is where this is who we look to at our nation turns its weary eyes upon these people for issues such as jfk assassination the dc sniper not who stole caleb's all organic fat free froyo out of the refrigerator shame on you abc shame on you keep getting those checks though keep getting those checks shallow and all right Next that up, is. I made this one myself. This just says society on it. All right, society is falling. It's really in trouble because, because <laughs> I searched Quantico tonight just to make this Photoshop thing. You know what the first thing that came up was? A bunch of horse crap about this dumb show. Pages and pages and pages until I finally got to something about Quantico, Virginia and the FBI. That's not a good sign. And last up, this is not rising. This is not falling. This is just a picture of Luis Guzman because he's just a <laughs> cool guy. Look at his face. Look at his face. I just wanted to put him up on the board. So Luis Guzman is going right here. <laughs> so that's pretty much my rising and falling list. I'll move him later. He's kind of blocking John Wall's face. That's good. So, yeah, that's my rising and falling list. That's pretty much how it's going to go on a weekly basis. It's not going to have anything to do with anything. It's going to be like an episode of Seinfeld. And, uh... I think I got them all up all there. All right, so here's the bar that we... Here, here, here's the... It's okay. Here is the bar that Wiley and I set. It's probably right here. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. think you might have just set mm-hmm. it like... Whoa! Like up here, whoa. maybe. Like, oh, oh, well, you almost hit the ceiling fan. Here. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. I appreciate that. Kind words. 
It's fine word. This is the best show I've ever done. Yeah. Well, I expect expect more of this because I got I got beef with a lot of people, and expect less rising, more falling because I'm usually just dogging people and things, and so that's that's pretty much how it's gonna go. While you want to take over, this thing has been clipping, manipping for the last Five four minutes. minutes at least. Ouch. Thank you, Jared. My goodness. Wow, nice to have you back. Um, you know, you're going to make a seamless transition into a grumpy old man yeah, I know. like none other. Yeah. Thank you as you have a sweater that says Good that grief. Yeah. I have so many old man sweaters. Yeah. Well, that's probably the best falling board I've ever seen in my life. Rising board is pretty spectacular, too. Uh, that... That was what grinds Jared's gears. That's what, what that was yeah. right there. Wow. There. All right, there you go. There's I'm our invited. rising and falling. Yeah, I'm invited um, now. Thank you. Be sure to tune in next time. Check out who's rising and falling again. See what redonkulous issues Jared has I'm coming with back next society. Week just for that. I'm coming back next week just and for Jared. And those who live in it. Um, wow. I'm sorry. Or shame on you, I guess. Society. Shame on you, society. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in. Uh, for Josh, I'm Wiley. There's no need to even talk about Jared. He already made sure you remember his name. He stole the show. And, uh, yeah, be sure to follow us at... Uh, Jay Adamovich. Jay Adamovich. <laughs> Jared is at Jimmy Bootsos, and I'm at Wiley underscore Coyote 12. Thanks again, and make sure you keep tuning in to the Fast Break Kids. There's going to be a lot more where that came from. It's a lot more confusion, but a lot more fun. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jared. Jared that was a Jared, that was <laughs> that was just like that was like you were rehearsing that. Seriously.